Europosaurus was a small dinosaur of the sauropod family that lived in northern Germany during the late Jurassic and the Middle Camarigian, about 154 million years ago. It is a good example of insular dwarfism that resulted from the isolation of a sauropod population on an island in the Lower Saxon Basin. In fact, there was a very small sauropod, measuring only 6.2 meters or 20 feet as an adult. The habitat of Europosaurus was a subtropical island. The island was in the Tethys Sea 150 million years ago. It was about 100,000 square kilometers in size and the climate was warm and humid. Nevertheless, the island was not covered by a dense rainforest. The habitable parts of the island consisted of plains, hills, forests, and rivers. The vegetation was dominated by horsetails, and local climate was warmer than today. There were trees, such as primitive conifers, an abundance of ferns and some flowering plants. So, why was Europosaurus so small? It is certain that Europosaurus evolved from larger sauropod ancestors. These giant sauropods roamed mainland Europe during the middle to late Jurassic period, while the average sauropod was 40 to 50 feet. 15 meters long, Europosaurus was only 20 feet or 6 meters long. For comparison, Europosaurus is about the same size as Littlefoot in the award-winning movie The Land Before Time, but Littlefoot was a young brontosaurus. Like other island dwarfs, Europosaurus was smaller than its mainland ancestors. A trait called island dwarfism that is still observed today in island-dwelling bird species, mammals, and even fish. Europosaurus is one of the best examples of this phenomenon, as its bone structure suggests the dwarfing was caused by its slower growth rate, compared to that of its giant relatives. Rather than by cessation of growth at an early age, histological analyses of several specimens of Europosaurus have shown that Europosaurus is a unique dwarf species and not a juvenile of an existing taxon such as Camerosaurus. Thus, the small size of this dinosaur was an evolutionary adaptation to the limited resources of its island habitat. Europosaurus evolved its small size due to a largely reduced growth rate, and thus gained size more slowly than larger mainland relatives. In 1998, a single sauropod tooth was discovered by private fossil collector Holger Ludke in Germany. This discovery turned out to be a huge find, as the quarry in question contained elements from more than 10 individuals. In 1999, a team of scientists began excavations in the quarry, 2001 and 2002. Further excavations were carried out, uncovering more than 40 skeletons belonging to individuals of different ages. Some of the fossils were partially articulated, including some juvenile individuals, which allowed scientists to make educated guesses about the appearance of the individual when alive. However, not all of the remains from the site were from the same species. With this latest discovery, Europosaurus haldri may be the smallest sauropod dinosaur found to date.